Como estas? Okay. <laughs> hey, what's happening, guys? Guess where we are? We drove 50 minutes from Pensacola to get to Fairhope, Alabama. Why are we in Fairhope, Alabama, Teresa? To go to Fairhope Boat Co. What's in Fairhope Boat Company? The Hobies. Compass. Let's go look. I see yaks. This is a really touristy town if y'all never been to Fairhope. Lots of art, lots of bed and breakfasts. Hey, what's happening? Oh man, just another lovely day. Oh, Ty, hey, David Kelly. Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you too. Thank you, come on down. Well, we're here to see the compass. Let's get a good walk through from front to back. Bow to stern, what do you say? Here we go. The compass man so far has been a, a great boat. They kind of took a few of the bells and whistles away from the uh, outback, <clears throat> we'll say. They uh, gave you a little spot in the front, easy off cover. If you should want to cover some stuff up, keep it in there. It does allow you to throw a hatch in later if you'd like. There's a standard uh, size hatch that they've got in the rest of their boat. Awesome. Has a, a pedal drive system they've had for years. So no reverse, just no the reverse standard. No reverse on the compass, standard. Um, some track along the side. Allows you to, of course, throw your rod holders, fish finders, camera mounts, uh, flat screen TVs, anything you want to throw along the side. Regular center hatch they've always had. A plug here to throw in if you just want to paddle around, not lose your sunglasses through the hole. Standard rudder up and down on this. One thing they did change about the rudder is it is uh, basically stows up into the boat underneath rather than flopping off the backside. It is basically bungee loaded, so if you hit bottom, it will pop up, allow you to run up on stuff if you had to. And the seat looks the, wider. The seat is a little more roomy than, say, the uh, outback seat, that general seat they had. Doesn't give you correct all the bells and whistles that they had on it as far as all of the adjustment, but still locks in nice and solid for you, back and forth here. Basically, one position, you could actually set it in the low position, get you a little lower in the boat, it is designed to just bungee in, much quicker hook attachment, just to put the thing on. Nice, flat, open so it's back. So it's just kind of in the a medium high it setting is, all the time. Unless you drop it to the ground. Gives you lumbar support, but instead of having basically the twist on the lumbar support, it's just strap here that you can certainly tighten this strap up mm -hmm. to give you a little more lower back support. That'll work. Nice, flat deck. Plenty of room. Still got the standard uh, scupper drains here so that you can throw on your... Um, Live well that they've always had, standard live well will fit, a couple of built-in rod holders. Of course, carry handles on both ends, considerably lighter than the Outback was. Makes it a little easier for uh, smaller paddlers or just something a little quicker to work with. As I said, it does have the bump up rudder on the back. It is protected here by a bit of a keel. Promises to be a great boat and has been for those folks that have taken it out so far. It's almost got a tunnel in the back. Yeah, it's uh, but then it, kind of a, a tri hall. Yeah, it's a bit of a cross between almost a Revo front end and a uh, Pro Angler back end on the thing. Yeah. Still carries a 400 pound weight capacity. Well, he's got one in the back that we're going to go put in the water. We need to go taste test this thing. Oh, steering. Oh yeah, I did change the steering handle somewhat. It's comfortable. It's really basic. I like it. How basic it is. You strip down, right? Mm-hmm. You ready to go put it in the water and see what it'll do? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go make a decision.
Let's go see if we can find Teresa and get her to try to suck her out. All right, so my thoughts are this thing is super stable, totally standable. It feels like a, a slightly, a faster Outback or slightly sluggish Revo. It feels like a, a Revo that's not quite as fast, but super comfy. I love that seat. But a Revo that you can stand in, because when you're looking in the front, it, it, it has the entry of a Revo. It feels like a Revo cutting. But the back end slows it down a tad more than a Revo, but still faster than an Outback. So man, that sucker is right in the middle. I'm loving it. Let's put old Teresa in here and see what she thinks. Here she comes right now. You ready? Yes. So you release it to let it fall. Okay. And you pull it to put it up. She can make an Outback look like a bar, so. How's the stability? It's, it's, it's about like an Outback or, or better, huh? How you like the seat? Nice. It's comfy, isn't it? Yeah. It's really big. Yeah, just more seat there, right? I think we're both liking this boat, I really do. Pretty sweet. What do you think? Um, well, you're further away from these. I can tell already, because I'm in the Outback or the Revo. I set it at two, at three, and I'm fine. But I had to set it at one. So you're a little further back but it's comfortable being this far back. And I can recline this seat to this position, which I really, really like. The seat is wider and the uh, Revo, the straps on the Revo seat kind of confine your elbows a little bit. So that's nice. But this, this thing is, you know how you complain about how it wiggles? This thing is in place. It's not going yeah, anywhere. It's not moving on me. No kickstand. I'm shocked how stable it is. Did you see how I was rocking it? Yeah. Hardcore rocking it? Yeah. I can do yoga in it. Yeah, I like it. Surprise? <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. I thought I wasn't going to like it. But that new seat is a game changer. It's so wide and comfortable and really Look how wide it is. It's two inches wider than that seat. Yeah, when I'm in the Outback or the Revo seat, I'm a little squinched up because I because these rub on you. It's not something a lot of people think about, but for me, I'm throwing like this all the time. One of my elbows is always rubbing on the strap. So it's not a make or break a kayak kind of thing, but that's comfortable. By simplifying the seat, they actually made it a little better. I noticed you were paddling on three though. Yeah, way more comfy. My final thought on the compass is I'm tempted to not go with the Revo this year and possibly go with the Compass. I don't know if I can give up my speed, but I might try. What about you, Teresa? You'll just have to wait and see. Oh, it always leaves us hanging. Catch y'all later.